Welcome to episode 36 of the tutorial series Live Wire 3 from Scratch. My name is William Juma. In this episode, I want us to talk about Laravel Folio. Folio is a Laravel package that simplifies routing in a Laravel application. Folio is able to create routes for us without necessarily us having to go to web.php and adding our routes there. We can be able to use Folio with Vault for single file components. To illustrate this, I want us to go ahead and install Folio in our application and we are going to run the command composer require laravel forward slash Folio. I will hit enter and pause the video temporarily for it to install Folio. We will then go ahead and run the command php artisan folio full colon install and this command will create for us two, fi two files it will create for us a folio service provider and it will also create for us inside our resources views it will create for us a folder called pages so i want us to just go and see the folio service provider this is how it looks like. It has two methods. We have register and we have boot. Let me just extend a bit such that it's clear. So as you can see, we have a method, a uh, register method and a boot method. And then we have the resource path to, to as set as views pages. So any file that is within pages directory will be able to be routed automatically using folio and you can be able to pass the middlewares that uh, folio will be able to use here so let us go ahead and see how we can be able to use the file that we created in our previous episode which we used uh, vault to be able to create it and then see how we can be able to use it here using folio in other words to render it using folio without having a route for it so I have moved the vault sfc.blade.php inside pages. And now I need to make some small changes. Of course, you can see this is the file that we used in our previous episode to create uh, a user. And it was sort of whatever it is that we used to explain what vault is all about. And so for us to be able to use it here, because it is an anonymous component, we can be able to first of all state our layout. So we are going to say x hyphen layout layouts dot app. So when we when we type x, if you if you are aware about Laravel components, when you type x, it looks in the folder called components, and then our file is layouts dot app. And then down here we are going to close by the same. So I'm going to close that in a similar fashion. And also, we need to uh, sort of wrap this in Vault directive. So I'm going to have at Vault. And then also down here, right before we have the xlayouts.app, the closing tag, I have at end Vault. Just like that. Now, once we have it like this, we can actually be able to use our layout file that you have been using throughout uh, when we have been building our applications. And then we can also be able to enjoy the routing that is provided by Folio. So let us go to our web.php and be able to delete some things that we put there. So remember, this was what was assisting us to route our our file. So I'm going to delete this and I'm also going to delete this route here. And now we're just going to look at the name of our file. So in this case, our file is vault-sfc. That is what I'm going to visit in, um, in, our, in our browser and see what is going to happen. So obviously, I will open our Chrome and here, because we were using the route vault and we have deleted it, even if I attempt to refresh, now it's going to give us an error. It doesn't know what you're talking about. But if I visit 
uh, localhost 8000 and then forward slash volt hyphen sfc let us see what happens now we are having that at volt directive is required and i think i have been able to put that one so let me just check and see why that error is uh, being shown so we have at volt and then at volt and then at end volt i think this one i have typed capital so it's supposed to be volt small letters and at end volt let me save and refresh again now you can see we are able to display our file the way it was displayed yesterday and if i attempt to submit again you can see it's still working very perfectly so you can see the burden of us going to web.php to create a route is lifted off from our shoulders and we can be able to create uh, vault files inside the folio uh, uh, page and then be able to use it but just to mention something we can also be able to check the folio routes by uh, running the command uh, php artisan php artisan folio uh, list and it will give you all the routes that you have so in this case as you can see we only have one route and it's having a get method and it is called vault sfc so that is the only route that we have there and obviously if you want to create a folio um, a page you can be able to run the command php artisan make folio and then you can be able to put the name of the file so even if whatever it is that you're putting there you want it to be a vault a file you can just be able to create and give it a name so for example i can have my file like that if i hit enter it's going to create a file here that is called myfile.blade.php and also sometimes you may want to create a file that has folders you can be able to have maybe php artisan make folio and then you can be able to put the name of the folder so maybe the name of the folder i'm just going to call it folder and then after that forward slash we can have the name of the file maybe index like that if i hit enter now we are going to have a folder called folder and inside it we are going to have index.blad what i have shared is just some uh, sort of beginning or in other words the intro to what folio can be able to do there is more that you can be able to work on and leverage on what folio can be able to offer but i think it's a good thing for us to be able to combine the two because when you combine the two it is a very 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 serious combination that can be very helpful for us to be able to speed our our development progress this is the end of the tutorial episode i ask that if you have not subscribed that you may subscribe to my channel you can also give this video a thumbs up if you like the video and you can also shoot comments and questions that you have inside the comment section thank you very much